And it, in fact, AI today is the only industry left in America that makes powerful stuff that has no safety standards at all. Now, the second idea I, I want to bring up is how do we do it in practice? It's one thing if it's NASA and they decide to do it themselves, but if you have a, if you have a free market, capitalist competition between different companies, how do you do it then? How do you create the incentives for safety engineering? Super easy. We do it with airplanes, with cars, with medicines. We have some safety standards. U.S. government created the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, saying that if you want to sell a medicine in the U.S., first you have to actually do the safety engineering as a company and then persuade some experts that this medicine here has more benefits than harms. We learned it the hard way. We had strategies like, have you heard of thalidomide, for example? This was this drug which was given to pregnant women in America. It was supposed to help with morning sickness and it caused over 100,000 American babies to be born without arms or legs. This created so much anger and, and political will that we decided to have the FDA and safety standards. And, and now we're in this situation where any biotech company will have very talented people doing safety engineering, doing clinical trials, et cetera, figure innovating to make their medicines safe because they know that the first one who can make it safe enough is going to make a lot of money. They'll be the first product that gets approved. In fact, AI today is the only industry left in America that makes powerful stuff that has no safety standards at all. You need, there are more regulations on sandwich shops than on AI companies. Sandwich shops, you still have to have some health inspector check your kitchen for rats and you know that stuff. Whereas if someone invented vastly powerful machines tomorrow that they could outthink every human and take over earth, you know, it would be legal to just release it. So this is easy to fix. We just have to treat the AI industry like all the other industries and say, okay, do you explain to the, this new agency, the FDA for AI, why this is safe? And if they're convinced, then you can sell it. The only so reason it hasn't happened basically is because this is such a new field. We haven't had enough time to create these incentives for wisdom.